Just moved in my new house today Moving was hard but I got squared away Bell started ringing and changed right loud I knew I'd moved in a haunted house Still I made up in my mind to stay Nothing was gonna drive me away Hey, kitties, you know the drill. Start of another vlog. <laughs> uh, thank you for the comments on the skeletons here. Gotta get those put away yet. So I gotta get Morgan's wall put away yet. But we got today, we're gonna start this vlog out, and it's probably gonna end up being the whole vlog working on the barrels. Kind of showed you the last vlog where we ended up at, and I need to come in here and get my blue touch up on that one haven't done anything on that one and got the third one over there so we're going to basically work on getting these things done and out of the way because they are taking up way too much room uh did go down to uh walmart and picked up a couple of things for the spider prop uh i was trying to figure out how i wanted to do the body uh, I know Pat over at Dead Things did, uh, I think he did wire mesh on his spider. And I didn't want to have to mess with the wiring. So, got to thinking, why not use a plastic punch bowl, you know, for like you do at holidays for your punch. And maybe a smaller uh, type bowl made out of plastic for the front. Came up, they didn't have any punch bowls down there at Walmart. I was thinking, you know, like using this one for for the head of the spider, and then the bigger uh, punch bowl on the back for the body, and which is where the legs are going to come out of. Notice that's stuck on the bigger bowl. Uh, so I'm still going to have to think on that and think I don't want to do the back part of it where the legs are going to be sticking out of. So we got that done. It's sitting there. It's going to sit there while I'm thinking about how I want to do it. But uh, right now for today's mess we're gonna get started with the painting on this and i'll give you some updates as we get along well we just about got the barrels finished yesterday uh that one is totally done and i got to that stage on that one and that stage on that one what i have left to do is to come back in through my blue with my blue and clean it up now when i was originally doing that one I put the green on by brush and it came through by uh, back by brush and put first coat on over this with the blue. It took several coats and it was taking forever to get in here with the brush. So, here, what the hell? I got lazy. I got my airbrush out and I did that barrel and that barrel. I did the green on it and I'm going to come back through and use my airbrush and go over it again with the blue and do my touch-ups with my blue. Probably going to have to go over them twice to get the blue to cover. Uh, but then the barrels will be done. So the barrels will be done today and the disaster in here in my shop will get cleaned up today and we'll get started on the spider mech. Now as far as a daytime and a nighttime view of the barrels, nighttime being underneath black lights you can see them glow, you are going to get to see that. But it's going to be in a separate vlog. Uh, nice thing is, you're probably going to see that vlog before you see this video. So, <laughs> I'm probably going to shoot it a little bit later. Uh, shoot the, the video for the daytime, nighttime view of the barrels later today and upload it today. And then uh, you'll get this, uh, this vlog afterwards. So... Of course, you'll know that already because you've probably already seen the day and night time. All right, another quickie segment. I haven't done anything yet. Uh, wanted to cover the great stuff up here. Uh, if you plan on doing something like this where you're using the great stuff as an accent, uh, when you go to paint it, you know, you paint it like, you know, standing up with it, the barrel in the position it's in now, you spray it, it looks good. Uh, in my haunt though, the barrels will either be sitting upright or on their side. And I got to thinking, I turned it over on the side, and while you're seeing this surface here, it looks okay. When you turn it on the side, you actually see up underneath, 
and you don't get paint there because you're you know shooting from up here so make sure to flip your barrel over and shoot the underside of it too so you get paint on everything okay people barrels are done we are on spider duty <laughs> went down this morning bought for the most part the last of my supplies I'm going to need to get the actual build done probably don't have everything I need for doing the detail work but I'm out here first thing is I'm working on my base and I've got the back portion done uh, sketched out I got knots for where the legs are going to go got the head drawn I know it's just a couple of circles because we're using those for the body uh, I was just talking to the wife she agrees with me the mandibles I sketched on here for the spider are too big they need to be skinnier and longer and not have the jagged teeth so I gotta re-sketch that out but at least the spider prop is started we're gonna see how much progress we can make today I'm hoping to have this all cut out fine-tuned and hopefully get started working on the leg mechanisms uh, the body I'm not really overly sure on kind of rough fit here what I planned on doing was using that for the head and this for the back and they're not sitting exactly right I gotta modify the green bowl yet but for the housing uh, for the basic body and then we're gonna use some great stuff on both both the bowls once they're attached to give give us our shape and stuff of what we need to make it look more like a spider because right now it just looks, looks like a couple of upturned bowls <laughs> but that's in the detail work and some of the lot of detail work I'm going to be doing on this you guessed it great stuff <laughs> this is the year of great stuff for me oh and hey speaking of the year of I'm officially nominating today it's Tuesday yeah it's Tuesday and I think it's, yeah, it is September 2nd as Yard Hunter 5 Day. And in his honor, I am wearing his Yard Hunter 5 shirt. So this day I dedicate to you, Steve. Get your hunt on. Hey, peeps. Remember to pick up the camera. End of the day vlog here. Wanted to show you my progress on the spiders. I already showed you the barrel, so you know those that got finished earlier in an earlier segment. But uh, here, and I think this, I am just too damn close. But uh, anyway, got this attached, and I ran into a problem. This block of wood is sitting on a metal plate that is the same size as that piece of wood. And when I notched out up here, for my legs and I tried to attach this to the metal plate uh, the metal plate was overlapping where the legs needed to go so in order to get that up I attached first attached a piece of wood the same size as the metal plate and then another piece of wood the same thickness in between to act as a spacer and that will give me just enough room to get my legs in there and get those moved so for all intents and purposes the base part is done now I can start adding to it and what I started doing next, next major part of it, is the legs. And we'll get one out over here next to the table with all the garbage and hopefully you can tell. You got, that's what gets anchored onto the base, the middle part, and then the length down going down toward the ground. Uh, I'm using 45s. For my joints up here and I was we went and did a uh, dry fit on the mech over there and we come to find out that the end of the uh, three foot section there sticks up way too high and it doesn't really look right uh, <laughs> it needs to be closer to the ground <laughs> plus it takes up too much room it's about five feet from uh, the uh, tip up to where the base is so it'd be 10 foot across and that's just taking up way too much room for the size of the display so what I'm going to end up doing is after I get these all mounted to the base uh, I'm going to come back through with my heat gun and heat up the middle piece there as well as this end piece and bend them a little bit 
so they don't look so rigid and straight. And that will bring, uh, swing the end of it in to, uh, more toward the ground. Uh, another thing I did too was these here. Some of you might recognize these. Uh, it's a finial, like fence posts. I did not like the idea of just leaving, you know, at the end of it, a bare pipe hanging down. So I figure I'll cut some of these so they can slide right into the ends and then he'll have more spikish uh, type feet on there and then once they're detailed and stuff they won't hopefully won't look like finials <laughs> but uh, I went and cut uh, part, some of the finial decoration of the finial off so it was more of a spear so we did that so basically all the basic mechanic work or not mechanic work but basic frame stuff is done tomorrow we're gonna get out here and we'll get going on getting legs mounted getting them tweaked getting the spring and uh we're gonna have a spring attached to them so they'll actually bob bob up and down and stuff we'll be messing with that and it's probably gonna take me all damn day i don't know i'm thinking that watch me watch it take me 10 minutes out here <laughs> oh well but uh if it does, then we got other stuff with this project to do. But that's kind of what's on the drawing board tomorrow, is getting the legs attached and getting them set up and working right before I uh, go any further on the project. But with that, I'm going to say good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Or, in your case, next segment. Hey, good day, good morning. <laughs> How'd you guys like that uh, Skelly and Barrel review video? <laughs> And I had one guy thinking, he replied back to it, expecting a 30-minute vlog, and didn't get it. And he was disappointed. Don't worry. If you're seeing this, this is your 30-minute vlog. I don't know if it's going to be 30 minutes or not. Uh, I had some errands to do this morning, so I got out here a little late. I've uh, been working on the, th on the uh, spider. I was going to jump in and start getting the uh, springs and mounts and stuff set up for the legs and I got to thinking I needed to do this first. For the basic reasoning, I needed to be able to mark where my slots are here so I can cut my slots in the bowl. I'm not going to do that until after I get the uh, legs attached, but it needed to be done before I did the legs. So I got that and I figured well, while I was doing that, I put some blocks in, blockage in. And basically the, barrel, uh, the bowl just sits over the top of them like that. And I'll come back in through here, which is where the other block is. Uh, to permanently attach it, I'll just run a screw into that block. And that will hold the uh, back part on. Uh, on the front part, and here let's get the back block out of the way. I know, kind of a wavy camera angle, but that's normal for me. You should know that by now. For the front bowl, I had to do a little different. I did get the blocks in, and I should say, uh, say I mounted them down with some Gorilla Glue and a couple of staples uh, from my uh, nailer up there on the wall. But where the back part of this bowl meets the other one, it wasn't fitting quite right, so I had to kind of notch it out too, which I did, and it fits just fine. And there goes my bowl. Oh, it's running away from me. But it just sits over the blocks. And I'll do the same thing with this one as I'm going to do with the back one. When I'm done, I'll run a couple screws in. One here and one on the other side to mount it. Because once this thing starts operating jerking, those things are going to go flying if I don't have them permanently mounted. Now, let's see. Which is the front? There's the front. Okay, put this one back on. Now, this isn't a perfect fit. There's a gap right here. Not overly worried about it because you're not going to see the bowls at all because I'm going to be covering all the bowls, both bowls, with uh, great stuff and then doing some detail work in the great stuff once it sets up. So that gap will get filled in fairly good with great stuff and it will also help to adhere this bowl to that bowl. Hopefully. <laughs> it won't be as strong as, it, as if I use Gorilla Glue or something like that on it, but it'll be strong enough. But uh, anyway, now I've got to start working on getting the legs mounted. Okay, guys, a little update for you here. Uh, I've been working on the first leg, which I've got mounted to the base. 
and what I ended up doing was getting some threaded rod I've got two bolts on there to act as a spacer and then this part here I went down to Home Depot and was looking all over the place just wanting to buy this part here could not find them separate ended up buying 16 of these these are window latches you know the little slide bolt and they were like 250 a pop and I ended up having to buy 16 of them so it cost me 32 bucks <laughs> just to get that part and those I might end up using on another prop I have an idea for those anyway so it's not too bad but uh, so I'm using that to anchor it onto the board and then I'm cutting pieces of threaded rod to act as my pivot on here and I just put two bolts on there to act as a spacer and I don't have a spring on it yet but if you see the leg there it bounces pretty good but now I have a design change I need to do if I put all the legs on with the way I got the legs mounted and I'm using 45s all the legs are going to be sticking up like that and it's just going to be too freaking big and doesn't look right having the foot clear up in the air like that I mean if I'm going to have this thing rocking back and forth it's supposed to make him look like he's walking not hovering so uh, I was thinking about doing some heat treatment you know heating up the joints here and kind of bending it a little bit uh, oh, oh. But I'm thinking I'm going to go down and buy eight 90 degree angles. That way I'll change the direction of this a little bit more. So that tip is down toward the ground more instead of clear up in the air. And then go from there using my heat gun to heat treat the legs after I get all the legs on. But uh, that's kind of what we came up with so far. Just a lot of little bit, a lot of trial and error. There isn't really any tutorials on how to build these dang spiders you know I've been looking on YouTube watching all the different videos and like I mentioned Pat from dead things he was my main inspiration for doing this his was a little different though uh, he has a shiatsu motor in here driving the legs that causes the legs to randomly go up and down mine's gonna be spring-loaded Hi, right, after several trips at Ace Hard to Ace Hardware, <laughs> we're back. Uh, went up to Ace originally, got picked up some uh, 90 degree fittings, and I know that's a 45. Uh, the 90 degree fittings just didn't look really right. The wife came out, and we sat here for about 15 minutes going over it. Uh, this piece and this piece are the original ones. These two are some scrap, and we got to thinking I like the look of that leg can't go back much further but uh brings it in just about enough uh so i went back up to ace took the 90s back and picked up 845s instead and i think what we're going to end up doing and i agree with the wife is we're going to shorten this piece up by about three inches which will bring the leg actually back this way about three inches and then we're going to shorten this leg this part of the leg out here three inches and now that should suck the leg in about another six inches and then the original three foot piece that i had coming off the tip is going to have to be resized to fit the new leg configuration not doing that right now i think i'm going to stick to getting this part on all the legs mounted first and then once they're mounted i'll come back and i'll do my sizing on the legs to get set up to the way i want it hey boys and girls end of the day wanted to show you what i got done on the spider for today we got the legs figured out and there's really not enough room to get this out and the chairs in the way but i think you got kind of an idea have no idea what my measurement is from that side to this side but I'm thinking it's probably about eight feet <laughs> it just barely fits in here but it's not doing too bad some of my notches are off a little bit with the piping either that or my holes on the piping that I drilled for the hinges are off a little bit so some of the legs sit up a little bit higher than others which is fine 
and get that pushed all the way back in and they wiggle nicely if nothing else uh for tomorrow tomorrow's uh chore i've got to get in here i've got a spring to attach here down to here so i'll actually hold the legs up like this and then when this thing slides in and out it should make the legs bounce so i've got to get those mounted and then it's taking the mixing bowls getting them cut to fit and getting those on here that's my main project for tomorrow and I'm hoping and I'm saying hoping to get in and get some of the great stuff on tomorrow too that way I'll drive while I'm out of town with work so uh, might even get a little bit of that done you know uh, if it dries fast enough tomorrow might be able to get uh, some of my detail working with that too I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna take each day as it comes at this point with this prop Good day all. Next segment for you. I uh, kind of showed you what I did on it last night. It kind of looks about the same. Uh, I've done a couple of things. Uh, to get my legs to do the bouncing maneuver, I'm going to hook a spring from here and then anchor it down here. I'll actually pull the leg back probably about like that when it's not moving. And then when it jerks, I'll you know, do this type of movement, which is what I want. But in order to do that, I had to put an eye hook in here and got, got all eight of those done. Then I went back through on my brackets here and I put two bolts in there to add kind of as a spacer between the pipe and this. And I was finding that my threaded rod was unscrewing a little bit as they bounced. So I went ahead and tightened them down to the pipe. Uh, to help lock that threaded uh, bolt in or threaded uh, rod in and as well as uh, to help you know kind of keep the uh, the uh, pipe from uh, going back and forth a bit and it was wobbling a bit another thing I've done is I went through here I made sure all my pipes were in the positions I wanted them to be and then it's, I was thinking about just using regular pipe glue and gluing these and I got to thinking if I did that, then I wouldn't be able to take these apart. They'd be permanent. If something broke or was out of alignment, I wouldn't be able to adjust it. So I put them in dry and then just ran a couple of screws in to hold them. And that will be more than adequate to hold the legs together. Did it also down here on the uh, finials I put on for the tips of the feet. So, been busy this morning. It took a while to get through and get everything adjusted and what have you. Now, the springs I'm using, I picked up, I wasn't sure what size spring I was going to need or want, or how heavy duty of a spring I want. So I bought, a, bought two different types down at Home Depot. These are extension springs. This is a smaller size spring, and I was thinking about maybe using that one, but it was just too lightweight and too heavy duty, or not heavy duty enough. And they were a little bit shorter than I wanted. So I went down, got another pack, and basically same thing had two different size springs in it but they were thicker and more heavier duty here's the uh smaller spring there and you can tell it's a little heavier duty than the other ones those are the uh, small ones i pulled out and then i went and took and stretched these out the length i wanted which uh made them a little bit easier spring when they're coiled all up tight they don't have as much bounce so i stretched them out the length i wanted but they were about all oh, that long before I stretch them. So I basically doubled their size. And these here, I'll be taking over, hooking onto the eye hook, and then just simply uh, running a screw through the other end down on that to hold them into place. So I'm going to do that after breakfast. Or actually, it's almost noon, so it'll be lunch. I haven't eaten yet, and I'm getting hungry. My stomach's rumbling. Another segment. Remember yesterday, or uh, not yesterday, but a couple segments ago, segment before last actually, I was closing out yesterday and I mentioned I had the springs and stuff to do to get the legs to move. And that it was probably going to take me the better part of the day. Well, I was right. <laughs> Having a small problem here. Uh, got my eye hooks on, showed you that earlier, got the springs attached. You know, and the legs bounce. Okay, all the legs bounce. Okay, you would think all I would need to do is put the body on it, hook up the air, and be ready to go. Finding one problem. 
Now the mechanism to bring this forward is an air cylinder. In order to, uh, when it's hooked up, it's supposed to push it forward like that and then back in, back out and back in, you know, until it's all the way out. Which in theory is supposed to cause the legs to bobble. And as you see, all they're doing is wiggling side to side. They're not doing that, which is what I wanted. <laughs> Uh, it's just going to look stupid having the legs wiggle. So, Pat, I, fi I finally see why you went the way you did on yours. Pat being dead things. Uh, he, instead of doing the spring mechanism, he had the legs on just the way I do. And I'm copying him. Had, if I remember right, an eye bolt up here. And he had one of these in the center, center and it's not the exact same one this is out of a pillow I don't know where he got his out of uh, I think it was a Misachu, Misachu, uh, massager but he attached a fender washer to this one here and just had uh, some cable going to it one for each leg then when it was on you know the legs automatically did it you know did their thing now I checked that massager will fit in there no problem. I guess got to take the springs loose from the base, and then use some strapping to strap it down. And then I need to get a big fender washer to attach to that, drill some holes in it to accept the springs, and I will have legs. There will be a added feature to this. Only only mechanical thing on there really I wanted, or motor driven, air driven, however you want to call it, mechanical was a cylinder. You know, and just have that cylinder to do everything. But it ain't gonna work. Okay, leg problem fixed. And you can hear it in the background. There you go. Now, the feet are bouncing down, hitting the ground. That's what's making the thumping noise. And I don't particularly care for it, so I think I'm going to come back through and take another two or three inches off the uh, feet down here so things are more up in the air. But uh, here's the mechanism. Similar to what uh, dead things use. Uh, I'm using springs for the time being. I'm going to see how those work out. And I do like that because it gives the legs a chance to bounce back a little bit. Uh, pad over dead things, you actually use a steel cable going running from each hole out to the out to the uh, eye bolt. But it's basically the same setup. Springs are working fine. And I think if I take two or three inches off the feet, the legs will bounce more. Now, this is the first or the second part of the movement. The other part is this thing's also going to be coming out, you know, moving forward and back with that air cylinder. So it ought to be interesting. The only thing I'm going to have to worry about is in the haunt when my wife does the cobwebbing that there's a clear enough trail for this thing to do its thing without getting bound up in anything because it will tweak the uh, legs if I, if I don't. Okay made some adjustments first i adjusted the spring on this leg here so it's pulling up a little bit more i also went through and trimmed three inches off the uh off the legs uh, the feet are still hitting the ground a little bit but that's just due to the bounce in the spring and <laughs> not much you can do about it I don't want to shorten the legs anymore. I could raise the whole mechanism up an inch or two. You know, it is adjustable that way, and that would probably take care of it. I don't know. I may do that for the haunt. Not doing it now. So right now it is fine. Oh, one last thing. Go Seahawks! Okay, people out here listening to the Seahawks game and working on the spider. And I just had a unexpected problem was in the process of getting this fitted. This is the uh, back half of the spider. Had it all on, and I've been, you know, putting it on, uh, turning the legs on, and, you know, grinding it down a little bit where it's rubbing and stuff, and, you know, then unplugging it and making any adjustments, turning it back on, you know, double checking it. Did that, finally had it all working right, turned it on one last time, to check because the springs here were rubbing on a little bit and that's just thin plastic it wouldn't take much to break it 
and all of a sudden all four of these legs sucked right up and you can hear this creaking noise on the inside so I quickly unplugged it turned it off and ended up with that those were the springs that were attached to those legs all kinked up tied up what have you on this and somehow I don't know I don't know why but like this one here you know I let the screws loose so this would rotate around the screw this one was the same way but somehow that screw tightened down and locked this washer into place so when it went around in a revolution instead of pivoting you know to stay lined up with the legs it started turning with the shaft and just tied up the springs and sucked the legs in not sure what the hell caused it I do know these springs create a lot of torque on that washer as the legs are bouncing you know you can see the spring moving there and you probably see it better go like that but you can see the spring you know the springs moving there and that's putting a lot of torque on that so Pat trial and error Pat at dead things I'm doing trial and error think Monday when I get back into town I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna copy you I'm gonna go down and buy some wire I'm gonna do away with the springs and uh, just attach wire because the wire won't bounce like that and I'm gonna miss it cause I like the I, I like the legs bouncing but uh, I think I'm gonna need to get rid of those springs because I have a f nasty feeling I'm gonna have the same problem with this one here with those springs bouncing it's just gonna bind it up on here hey people last segment I promise I hope I think uh, already explained to you the problem I'm having with the legs can't fix that till Monday so I went ahead and got the bowls attached and did my great stuff on them. Uh, this will cure all weekend. I won't be able to do any work on it tomorrow because I go out of town for work. And yes, I've got the Seahawks game on in the background. And for my Hawks, I ain't turning off the goddamn radio. So you're going to have to listen to it. And that's aimed at you, God's flesh. <laughs> Saints suck anyway. <laughs> But uh, anyway, I'm going to let this cure over the weekend. I get back, I'll be doing some sanding, shaping, and some detail work on it, hopefully. Also, cleaning up around the legs. I knew it was going to get in that area. I'm not worried about it. And yes, I did mark out where all my screws were. <laughs> so I can find the screws so I can get the bowls off. Because the bowls are attached with screws. But, we'll back up over here one final look at the project we made really really good prod uh, progress on it uh, I got the bug with the legs I've got to fix uh, which will probably take part of Monday and then uh, sanding and shaping if needed or actually it's going to be needing sanding and shaping but I don't know if I'll end up adding more great stuff to it or not I haven't decided that yet uh, I'll wait to see how it looks on Monday and I might, you know, give it another coat of great stuff and really get it to balloon up. But we'll have to wait and see. And with that, I'm bringing this vlog to a close. I hope you guys like the uh, Skelly and Barrel review vlog I, or video I put up uh, earlier in the week. I mentioned it that I was going to do that earlier in the vlog. Uh, thank you for, to all those who commented on it. And pass that. Stay toxic. And Wolfie and me are going inside. Stay spooky.